trapped in the snow. Whose is this track? And where does it go? Whiskers at last, and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? His eyes aren't fiery. His tail isn't scaly. His whiskers aren't wiry. You're not the mouse! Gruffalo! You're not the mouse! Mouse? Oh, oh no, not me. He, he, he's, uh, he, he's under a tree, uh, drinking. <laughs> Gruffalo tea. <laughs> oh. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child, as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mess. For days he tunnels, twists and winds. But all the treasure that he finds is two small buttons, half a cork, a toffee, and a plastic fork. The lizard flicks an angry tail. Have one last try. And if you fail to find that treasure down below, I'll feed you to my hungry crow.
The crow is flapping through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak. And listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. He'll be juicy, fat, and firm. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. <laughs> One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. <laughs> Oh, stick man! Beware of the <laughs> dog. <laughs> A stick? Barks the dog. Hmm? An excellent stick. <gasps> the right kind of stick for my favourite trick. <laughs> 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 I'll fetch it and drop it and fetch it and then I'll drop it and fetch it and drop it again. Stickman. Yeah. That's me. Huh? <laughs> and I want to go home to the family tree. <laughs> A notice says dogs must be kept on the lead. <laughs> At last, the game's over, and Stickman is freed. He sets off for home with a hop and a twirl. Stickman! Oh, Stickman, beware of the girl! A stick! cries the girl with a smile on her face. The right kind of poo stick for winning the race! <laughs> Gadabout the Great and Zog and Princess Pearl. Pearl gives people medicine and pills and vaccinations. And Gadabout is expert at performing operations. Zog is good at flying. are good at landing. But Gadabout and Princess Pearl are always understanding. <laughs> Flying high one morning, they heard a mermaid wail. Oh. 
I'm sunburned and it hurts. She cried and swished her scaly tail. Mermaid's skin was red. Pearl rubbed in some special cream. <laughs> and wear this hat, she said. Dr. Princess Pearl. The mermaid waved goodbye as the team of flying doctors sped away into the sky. Now Tabby McTat was a home-loving cat, but he couldn't stop dreaming of Fred. And one day, he called for his wife and his son, and he told them... There's something that has to be done. I must go and find him, he said. And down and all over town. He wandered a whole week long for many a morning and afternoon by the light of the sun and the light of the moon. he heard a familiar song. Just me and the old guitar If I had a cat I'd be happy afar Just me and the old guitar with my cat, I'd be happy afar. <gasps> it's Tabby McTat. <laughs> it's my long lost cat. Old Fred was ecstatically glad. The two of them sang of this and that, and people threw coins in the new checked hat. Who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes 
and the poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help. Oh, no. It's a Gruffalo. Favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a, a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. <laughs> Afraid. Oh, <laughs> all right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead, and I'll follow after. <laughs> 